My name is Eva Devon Sony. I'm from San Francisco, California, and this is my business, Sweaty Taxidermy. So I make fake taxidermy. I use I repurpose sweaters to use for their fur, and I use traditional taxidermy mounts. The inspiration is I really enjoy regular taxidermy, but I always enjoy kind of more of the playful side, more of the uh, anthropomorphic. So this was kind of my take on it. So it's still playful, anthropomorphic, but a little more colorful and fun. Everything's been going really well at Maker Faire. Uh, I get a lot of laughter, a lot of photos. Everybody seems to really enjoy them. So my name's Jen Amos. I'm the owner of Sparrow and Sundry, and I make um, shadow boxes. Some people call them dioramas. And I make them out of either reclaimed wood or sustainably harvested wood. And uh, I make the boxes myself in the wood shop. So I am a woodworker at heart, and I may or may not hoard wood. I'm not going to tell you. So I was going through my hoarded wood one day, and usually they're three or four inches. And I was trying to figure out what to do with them, and I started out by making the wooden boxes. And then I have children, so I went to their toy box and stole a bunch of toys and put them in to the boxes and made night lights for them because we travel a lot and it was something familiar for them in a hotel room and that's kind of where it started it took off from there uh, I have gotten a very good reception at Maker Faire most people are very interested in the LEDs because they are lit with LEDs um, and I think they're just fascinated because people haven't seen anything like this before and it's new and unique and um, something that they can take home from the fair and remember it by. My name is Sarah Grams. I live in San Francisco and I make these tiny DIY wallet kits. I make all of this at the tech shop in San Francisco and I cut all of the leather so that you can make your own wallet. So all these pieces are made with little holes in them already so they're really easy to make. And I did that because I made my own wallet and I thought this is super easy and I wanted to make a kit that was like a good entry level project for beginners so people could make something and feel proud that they were making something and everybody needs a wallet. So I thought it was a good project. My name is Tony Fredericks. I live in Hayward in the Bay Area. The name of my booth is What Does It Gets? And I make homemade, handmade uh, culinary art for the table. This is my sixth Maker Faire and has been received extremely well. I love Maker Faire. The makers of all kinds appreciate makers of other kinds, and that seems to be uh, a theme that runs every time I do this. Hi, I'm Doug McNeil. I'm uh, from Oakland, California and I uh, make journals out of old library books. I got the idea, I was working in a book bindery and we always had leftover paper and people were always saying, hey, make me a notebook out of that. And I don't know how I came up with the idea of using the old books, it just kind of happened from there. Uh, people love my product. They, I get good feedback from everybody. A lot of people come from other fairs just find me just because they know that I make a quality product. Uh, my name is Claire Sanders. Um, I'm from Alameda, California. My project, which I've been doing for several years, is called Fluff Engine, and it's stuffed animals that I design and make by hand, as well as instructional patterns, so other creative people can make the toys themselves too. Well, I went to a lot of craft fairs because I was attracted just as a consumer, and every once in a while I'd be like, "Hey, I could make that," <laughs> and which is kind of a bad attitude. But so when I started my own project um, of sharing my own designs with people, I was like, I knew there were a lot of other creative people. So I figured why not share with them the instructions so that they could make them themselves or if they saw mine and wanted to make it in different colors or wanted to make a bunch that they could do that. My name is Bly Brown and I'm from uh, the Los Angeles area specifically. I live in Lakewood, Lakewood, California. Yeah, I make functional ceramics and uh, they're all il illustrated on, so um, yeah, it's like a business of uh, functional handcrafted ceramic ware that's all hand painted. I have always been a, a lover of coffee and tea, and um, I just think there's so many gross like uh, ways to drink coffee and tea, like out of plastic and foam. And I just noticed how much wasting I did when I was a teenager or like a college student hanging out at coffee shops. And I also thought it would be cool to have a way to bring something really beautiful into like your mundane everyday experience. And uh, I, at the same
same time fell into a ceramics class and decided that I wanted to make really beautiful pieces that kind of brought you out of your mundane day and uh, into your like coffee drinking experience. Hi, my name is Anna Quinones, also known as Anna Auntie Social. I run Auntie Social Designs. I've been doing crochet amigurumi for the past couple years, but I've been crocheting since I was a little girl. And I always just love the taxidermy feel without the cruelty of the animal slaughter. And so therefore, I decided to make crochet taxidermy with some fantasy animals that you'll never see on mounts. Uh, it's been pretty good. It was a little slow yesterday, but today is definitely picking up quite a bit. Uh, there's quite a few fans. Everyone seems to really love the stuff. Hi, I'm the window lady, also known as Janae Rose. I'm based out of Oakland, and I live on a boat there in a community called Fifth Avenue Marina, where we have a lot of local artists in our booth. I've actually included a lot of those artists in our booth today. And I also live up in Plumas County in a town called Twain, population 80, where I isolate myself from the world and I sew handmade clothing all out of recycled materials. Uh, this is my sixth year, I think, or seventh year at Maker Fair. Uh, a lot of people wear my bustles around that are all recycled neckties. I really enjoy uh, working without patterns, other than like this capelet I made is out of uh, quilt. I really like finding scraps and things that are normally thrown out to make uh, really elaborate costumes. And uh, I feel like it's really important to recycle. As a designer, that was my choice instead of buying yardage and fabrics to create things. Um, I like thinking of it as adoption in a way. There's a lot of children in the world. There's a lot of ties in the world. There's a lot of quilts that have been passed on in families that go to a thrift shop. I like taking them, things with history, and making new wearable art with it.